Today I have for you some exciting Dollar Tree DIYs you are going to love. They're easy, they're quick, and I know that you can do them. Let's get to it. All right, this little journal from the Dollar Tree, it was such a great find. It's actually really thick, I think, considering the price. And I just thought it would be great for this project. I'm going to take the white faux leather from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to quickly show you kind of like the texture and the thickness of the faux leather. I am used to working with the one from Amazon, which is a little better quality. But for $1.25, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give two coats of Rust-Oleum Chalk Tween and the linen white to the little journal. Because I'm going to be doing in white, you can see through the design and I didn't want that. I sprayed one side first with Elmer's adhesive spray, and then I'm going to apply the journal right on top of the faux leather. And then we're gonna do the back side and flip it over and make sure that it is adhered really, really well. I am then gonna take my square and my rotary cutter, and I'm just gonna cut the excess faux leather. Now I'm going to take this leftover Hope decal from Dollar Tree. You know I love using these decals. They are so versatile and this one was leftover from previous projects and I thought it'd be a great addition to add to the bottom of the journal and it actually stuck really well to the faux leather. So just as, as a FYI for you, that the decals do stick to the faux leather really well. I then needed to add just a little bit of a ribbon to the center towards the top maybe. I'm just gonna add a very simple bow. I think this would be great to keep around the house for decorative purposes. You can also gift it as a gift and I think it's absolutely stunning. Very high-end looking. The texture is so wonderful with that faux leather. I'm very happy with it. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I am going to start with these little cutting boards from the Target Dollar Spot. There are $5 for two of them, but we're only going to need one today. I am going to drill a hole on the handle just so that it looks a little bit more like a cutting board. And that way we can also hang from that little hole. So after I did that, I'm just going to sand it very lightly to remove any splinters. For this one, we're going to use the blue faux leather from Dollar Tree beautiful this one you can actually see the texture a little bit more because of the color i'm going to take the little cutting board i'm just going to start drawing a line just to kind of measure where i need to cut then i'm going to fold it to about maybe three inches thick this is just so that i know where to cut and then i'm just going to cut the little square we are going to turn this into a little pocket for the cutting board. So once I had it cut, I'm going to fold it in half just lightly and I'm going to round off just one of the edges. This is so that it matches the rounded corners on the cutting board. And now that everything is cut, it's time to attach it using hot glue. And when I attach it, I am going to leave a little bit of space in the corner so that you see a little bit of that wood on the edges. And then I'm going to attach the other side. For the bottom portion, it will be a little bubbled because we are making it into our pocket. So I want to have some room to add some florals. So I'm just going to pinch it in the middle ever so lightly. And then we're going to hot glue it in place. And I think it turned out really well. It worked well. So again, just a little pinch in the middle. It gives it a little more of a pocket look. I'm going to take these little tiny baby screws that I already had on hand. I don't know where they came from. I had them in my stash and I'm going to place three on the on each side and then one right in the center on the bottom to secure everything in place. And we're just going to add some florals from Dollar Tree and that's it. This little tiny cutting board is so cute. I love that faux blue leather. I think it's one of my favorite colors. I love the way this one turned out. enjoy DIY home decor this is the channel for you I post every single week so make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the content
For the next Dollar Tree hack, I am going to start with this little hanging shelf that is from the Dollar Tree. This one actually comes already attached with the jute string and the ring. It's so beautiful. But today we're not going to use it as a hanging shelf with jute string. We're going to turn it into a different hanging shelf. So I removed the rope from it and I am going to fill the holes with some wood filler. Then I'm going to scrape the excess using a scraper. This is to remove all the excess wood filler and make it easier and faster to dry once it was dry i did sand it down just a bit to make sure it is nice and smooth i'm using my sanding block from dollar tree then after everything was dry i am going to give it one pretty heavy coat of rust-oleum chalk paint in the linen white and we're going to do all sides including the bottom All right, so while the paint dries, I am going to start cutting some two inch strips of the brown faux leather from Dollar Tree. This is gonna be how we're gonna hang the shelf from. Once I had the strips, I'm just gonna make sure I have enough to make sure that it's going to hang nicely. Then I'm going to fold them in half and I am going to attach them to the wall. Now make sure that if you're gonna put anything heavy on it, you are attaching them and screwing them onto studs. If not, you can use anchors. Here I'm just making sure that I am putting the straps evenly separated so that the piece of wood fits inside of it very nicely. I'm gonna slide the piece of wood right on there and then tilt it so I have a shelf. I think this turned out so beautiful. It's one of my favorites from today. Now, if you want the straps to be a little longer, you can always just cut four of them and attach them on the bottom together. If you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps my channel grow and it helps this video reach more people. For the next Dollar Tree hack, I am going to take the black faux leather and I am going to fold it into a three inch stripe. And then we're gonna cut it using the rotary cutter and the little cutting mat from Dollar Tree. So now we have a three inch square double-sided and we are going to cut one side into a heart shape. Then the bottom is gonna stay in that V shape like the bottom of a heart. You can make this as big or as small as you want it's just depending on what you want then i'm going to take some thread and this larger needle and i'm just going to thread it and then we are going to tie it in the knot on one end because we're going to sew the bottom of the heart the v shaped portion of this heart we are going to sew so i am making sure that i am sewing it front to back front to back and that way it's going to be secure and again we're only doing the bottom portion of the hat what we're making here is a bookmark if you followed me for a while you know that i've been in a bookmark <laughs> kind of kick and this is just another version of it i think it turned out super cute such a great gift idea for anyone who loves to read and again you can make them even bigger and any color you want what a clever way to use this full leather the next Dollar Tree hack I'm going to take this mason jar that I thrifted for 99 cents a while ago actually I'm going to remove the price tag and wipe it down really well and then I am going to give it two coats of rust-oleum chalk vein in the serenity blue which is a beautiful light blue color And here's what the jar looks like. That color is stunning. I am going to now cut a strip of the brown faux leather. It's going to be at about an inch. And I thought I can do it by just using my scissors, but I could not cut in a straight line. So once I had it cut to the length I needed, I used my rotary cutter and my cutting mat and that worked. So now that we have a straight strip of faux leather, we are going to hot glue starting in the middle. And if you can tell, I am really tightening the faux leather because I want to see the ridges from the mason jar. There's something about seeing that through the leather that I really liked. So I am making sure that as I'm hot gluing, I am also pulling on the strip of faux leather to ensure that I can see those ridges. If 
about done with this one and we're just gonna cut the excess and I think this mason jar is one of my favorites such a simple DIY but boy did that leather strap give it a beautiful high-end look I absolutely love it This next Dollar Tree hack is starting with this piece of wood. It's a scrap piece of white wood that I already had on hand. I It was already painted white. It's one of those that come already white, but uh, the sides are brown. So I want to make sure that I give everything a fresh coat of white paint on all sides, including the bottom. And while it dries, then I'm going to start cutting some strips of the faux brown leather. I am going to cut them. They're probably about a quarter of an inch, maybe less. I'm going to cut three to six large ones because I wasn't sure how many I was going to need. I am then going to hot glue all of them together at the top. And then I'm going to put a piece of tape to hold it in place because we're going to braid these strips of leather. I am going to braid them, making sure that the way I'm braiding them, the darker color of the faux leather is towards the top. I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to braid the entire thing. After I was done braiding, I realized that one strip was sufficient. I did not need the three extra strips of faux leather. So I'm going to save those for another DIY. So now I'm going to hot glue the ends just like I did the top and I am going to hot glue them and cut them after I place a little strip of faux leather around them, making sure that everything is cut and clean looking. So as you can see, I'm just making sure that everything is clean cut, that I don't have excess glue because this is going to be on top of the little tray that we're making. And I want to make sure that everything is clean and pretty neat. So once I had it cut, I am going to cut the excess on the bottom and that way it looks beautiful. I'm going to do that on the top and then I'm going to cut the braid into two so that I have two little handles for my tray. Now these handles are going to be decorative purposes only. I wouldn't recommend actually carrying anything heavy on this tray. I'm going to take small screws and I'm just going to screw each strap on the ends and that way it's going to give it that effect and look of a tray. I think this little straps made these little tray look so high end. I love the simplicity of it. I love the contrast of the brown and the white and I think it's so stinking beautiful. The next Dollar Tree hack is actually I did one about a year ago, but I thought I'd include it because it would be wonderful to use the Dollar Tree faux leather. Now for this one, I'm taking one of these little puzzle toys from Dollar Tree and this black faux leather is actually from Amazon. You can get a larger roll and I actually think it's a little bit better quality, but you can still make this DIY with the faux leather from Dollar Tree. I'm going to hot glue on the back of the puzzle the piece of faux leather, just like we did with the little cutting board earlier. We're just going to make a larger pocket. And in this one, we're going to add these thumb tacks. They are golden. I did cut out the little pointy side. I'm just going to hot glue them to get me that full effect like they are actually on the board. I'm going to do that on both the left and the right side. And then I'm just going to add some greenery and that's it. This one is so beautiful. Such an easy DIY using this puzzle from Dollar Tree. What a great way to use it. Just add jute string on the back to hang it. This next Dollar Tree hack is again one I did about a year ago. This one is also faux leather from Amazon. I'm going to cut two one and a half inch strips and I'm going to add one of these clips from the Dollar Tree. They come in the chains for the hanging basket and I'm going to thread it in each side. I'm going to show you a slower, closer look at how I did that. I am going to take one end, fold it in half. I'm going to place the clip and then I'm going to fold towards the back creating like a V effect. And then I'm going to hot glue those ends to make sure that they are secure. What we're making here are curtain holders. I'm going to take these upholstery tags and I'm just going to hot glue and put it right through it. Then I'm going to flip it over, cut the excess pointy part, 
and then we're going to add some hot glue to the excess little pointy so that way it's not going to rip my curtain but look how beautiful this one turned out you can certainly do this with dollar tree faux leather You're gonna have to let me know which one is your favorite. I love them all. I think they're all so beautiful. I love this faux leather. I wish it was a little thicker, but overall it did a really good job. And all of these have a very high end look, but please let me know which one is your favorite. If you are visiting for the first time, welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it inspires you to create your own home decor on a budget. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm going to have a playlist here and another Dollar Tree video where you can click and watch tons more of inspiration. Check them out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.